Hi, this is Jackie Murray with Ask a Tech Teacher. I'm your guide through these 32 lessons in the Structured Learning Technology Curriculum. We're in Lesson 29 for third grade. It's our fourth and last for slideshows. So students are finished. We'll finish up their slideshows today. They, they did slideshows last week, last year rather. And they're not learning a lot of new skills this year, but they are going to have uh, um, optionally adding sound or a footer to the slideshow. Now, if you don't feel your students are ready or they didn't do this last year, you might skip those two. Up to you. But otherwise, those are kind of new skills for them. It's nice to have the footer on the slideshow because it shows up when they're presenting, so you have a better idea of who's up there and what slide they're on, how many more they have to go, that sort of thing. <clears throat> okay, so the um, essential question, how do I communicate facts and details to different audiences? Slideshows are perfect for that, and I hope by now students are familiar with that. But you, you'll get, you want to ask them, what do you think of slideshows as a way of sharing your knowledge and presenting it to classmates? So far, it's written not in sentences, in bullets. It's designed to be behind them as they're presenting, which will come in a couple weeks. So it's a different way of communicating to audiences than if they wrote a book report. And then all they'd expect is someone would read their book report to get all that knowledge. So have them warm up with keyboarding. And then when you're ready to start, they're going to keep working on Google Earthboard presentations. They're going to remember that homework is due at the end of the month. They're almost done with homework, so this might be their last homework if it's due this month. Uh, you bring up the evidence board if this is your month to do evidence. This is your week in the month to do evidence board. And then open their slideshow project and, and get back to work on it. They're finishing it today. So they've kind of they've learned most of the new skills short of these two I mentioned up here. And they can independently work on those while everyone else kind of catches up. You might give them 10, 20 minutes of the class to do that. And then the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, show them how to do these skills. For anyone who's that far, go ahead and we're going to do these two skills. Okay, so you have those notes down here. Add a slideshow footer for the reasons we mentioned. And then what they haven't done yet, but they know how to do, is a transition, auto advance, and testing the slideshow, all of which they did last year as second graders. Your Whatever slideshow tool you use may make it easier or harder to add transitions and to add um, auto advance. So you look at what you have available and, and decide. If that's not something that's easy to do, then skip it. If it's easy enough, like PowerPoint, it's very easy to do all of those, then definitely add it. It makes a big difference in the slideshow. And then when they're done, they're going to work with a neighbor to compare their slideshow to the grading rubric. And I think there's a copy. Oh, we had it earlier. An uh, earlier lesson had this, so this is just a thumbnail of it. But compare this. Does it have these things? Have the neighbor look at it? Watch it as it going through. Does it automatically move forward? Whatever the skills are, have the neighbor check to see if that what they're seeing fits these requirements. Once that's done, the student will submit the rubric. That's their exit ticket, is to submit the rubric to you however it is they do that before they leave class. Now, optionally, you could tell students you didn't finish it, but before you arrive at class next week, bring get this rubric to me. Now, they're not presenting next week. If you're doing the book reports, they won't be presenting. Um, so they have a little extra time if you want to give it to them. Otherwise, often what I do is I don't let them present until I've seen that rubric. Once I get the rubric, they present the following week. So put some time pressure on them to get done. Here's the rubric for presentation, something that they can preview and start thinking about getting ready for. Just 
get them prepared. Let's see if there's anything in the student workbooks. They can fill out the rubric right in the student workbook and then take a screenshot of it and email it to you. Easiest way to do it, you're not printing pages, you're not running out of pages. They're just going to take their annotation tool and check things off as they're done. Okay, I did all those. Okay, I went back and made that up. I'll do that. And then take a screenshot and share it out with you. That's the easiest way. And then it, they have the reminder of what they're doing. They have the questions for there about the author. They really have everything they need if you're using student workbooks. Otherwise, you make sure you make this available to them on, on your class screen. I think that's it. But do let me know if you have any questions from this on this last week of slideshows for third graders. Let me know. I'm happy to help you. Otherwise, I'll see you in a week. Bye.